Nice big Tom down. Oh my gosh. What'd yes! You, what'd you do? Oh my gosh. My heart's racing. <laughs> oh god, my safety's on. Alright. Okay. Oh my gosh. That's a big bird. That was exciting. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, oh, there's two more hands. Oh no. Oh, they didn't fall. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Nice shot. Is it dead now, right? Yeah, it's just nerves. Okay. Oh my gosh, oh. that was so fun. Oh, that was great. I told you this was your calling. <laughs> You're so good at it. Thanks. Oh my gosh. Oh, I didn't get my heart through that big bird. Oh, man. How long did they do that? Yeah, a couple minutes. Come here. Come here. Shoot him right away. Following this blood trail to what be my biggest buck. Rage really opened them up. There he is. My biggest buck ever.
can't shoot right there. Walk this way. All right, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Shoot him. Well, then. There's him all strapped on the four wheeler. Looks pretty nice. Nice thick fur. See the under fur, how thick it is. Yeah, I love these dark faces. Look at that. Dark ears. But yeah, she looks pretty nice. Okay, guys, he's all taken care of now. Let's see if he's a male or a female. Looks like we got a. I think, it, I think it's a female. It's a pretty big size female, if I do say so myself. Look at how oh, pretty. The ones on this property always have that dark head look. Look at that. I think it's just gorgeous. Yeah, it looks, looks pretty prime. Doesn't look like it has any lice on the neck or rubbing. Looks pretty sick. I like it. Should bring some good money. Alright, well, now I'm going to go set about 20 muskrat traps, and then tomorrow I'm going to set hopefully about 40, so i got to get going. Right. Okay, guys, so I just came to check my coyote traps, and came over here and saw something running, and look what we got. We got ourselves a coyote. Third one of the year, first, first one for a long time. It's been, God, it's probably been three weeks. Finally got one. I'm up to three now. Three coyotes and six red fox. See if you put them on the longer, longer extension, they have more room to wrap around stuff so they don't go anywhere. And this one got caught back by his hips, if you can't tell. You're supposed to get him around the neck, but this one got through the snare a little bit. So he looks all right. Hopefully he doesn't have mange or lice and bring me some money. Uh, we'll get him taken care of and then I'll show you what he is. Hold on. Alright. <laughs> Alright guys, my brother's about to shoot this squirrel. Alright, go ahead. Got him. How did I not hit him? Oh my god. How? I couldn't get on him. Oh, I should have had that girl. He was freaking right here. God dang it. We just turned the crow call on and there's a couple crows flying over there. Hopefully they come in here in a second. Not. 
God, it's hard doing it one-handed. You gotta remember I'm filming with my phone in my hand and shooting with one hand, so. Well, dang it. All right, so I caught this pigeon. We're gonna throw it up for Jack here to shoot. All right, you ready? Yeah. I freaking missed. <laughs> he, did, he came up the wrong way. Okay, guys, I just got this one set. Give it a little bait. Sprinkle it around. There's a spider, look at that. Sprinkle that. And wipe my finger off. And um, for you guys who haven't, you guys wouldn't have seen it because that uh, the last place I was right by a house, so I didn't want to film. But I got, uh, I set, um, I think it was three traps over there. And boy, it's a muddy place. I couldn't even take my phone at either because my hand is so muddy. So if I get any coons there, they're gonna be freaking just full of mud. I'm gonna have to give them a bath before I skin them. Well, that's it for today. I'll show you my catches if I get any. Okay, I just got this one set here. Put some bait in it. Put it around. Grab the fish oil. Open it up. And there we go. Okay, I just got that one set, so I'm gonna bait it now. Couldn't get the trap as steady as I really wanted, but what can you do? Alright. I thought this was kind of cool. You can tell the ice is melting. It's getting pushed into that and of course not quite but it was just cracking right there. Because you know there's, there's current going down here as you can see. It's getting pushed in the dam. Things are melting. Alright we got this big trail right there. Nice big tracks here. And in the past I've caught them going into that culvert there. So I think I'm going to put one like right here. Right by this trail. And then I'm going to put one up up in here somewhere by that trail. I do think these ones might be coming from wherever you, where you just watched me put the other sets, but we'll see. All right, just got this one set. Putting some bait in it. It's a little too much on the ground there. All right, then we're gonna well, there's that set all done. That's still a trail right there. You could probably put a 220 right there and catch them too. I just don't feel like doing that. Alright, there's some fish oil on it, and I'll show you guys if you catch anything. One more thing you can notice I do is see how I got this trap here and that far from the hole so that the coon can't get back in it because last year. I learned you put it too close to the hole, they get down the hole. Then you're gonna have yourself a fun time trying to shoot the thing. And also, you want the traps, you see the other trap over there, you want them far enough apart that they can't reach each other because they will fight. And they'll tear each other's skin and then you can't sell the fur because it's all tore up. So I found this trail, this coon trail going into this den. Some tracks going that way too. I got my fish oil, my dog food, my hammer, and my, my dog traps. I pounded this one in, haven't set it yet, but I'll try to do this on camera. I don't know if I can do it one-handed, but here, I'll try to prop it up. I don't know if you guys can actually see, but just go like that, pinch, pinch her down, and pull it over. Okay, I just got this one set too. And what I do late season is I tie wire onto the end of the trap like this, and then I go around a tree because um, sometimes the ground's frozen and you can't put the stakes in. So give it a little bait there. Then I sprinkle a little bit in front. Take my fish oil, put a little bit on the tree, kind of sprinkle a little. And notice I put it right. Right in the middle of the trail here, you can see the trail goes right through there. I like to put it right in the middle, that way 
they're not super hungry, they're still gonna run into it and have to go around it. It might make them think that they, you know, want to eat it. Okay, I got it set. I know you can see the whole thing, but then what I do is I take my dog food. I put enough in there so that if the mice get to it, there's still enough for the coons. And then, as you can see, I spilled a little, so I just kind of make a little trail coming to it. And then I just, I don't know, sometimes I cover this a little bit just so it don't look too obvious. And then what I do is I like to take my fish oil here. Just sprinkle some around, get it smelly. You don't want to put it in your trap because that'll... That'll make your traps stink forever and you don't really want your food all soggy because they prefer, you know, dry food. So, all right, I'm going to set the next one. Okay, uh, I have four traps here and yesterday I had something pull out of the other one. Today we got a little kitty cat. Look at this little kitty cat. Hey, buddy. You didn't even do anything when you touch him. Look at him. Gosh. I wanted a coon, not a kitty cat. That's where the coons are living. And if you can see, that's exactly where I had one pull out yesterday. See the... See how the bark and stuff tore up? Yeah. Kinda sucked. All I had him by was a toenail. But he must have been in there for a little while. Cause it was kind of... Tore up for just a toenail. Alright, anyway. Get this guy taken care of. And then uh, off to the next spot, and I'll show you what I get out at the end. Alright guys, so I've got five coons so far. I haven't showed you any of them, but here's today. So the biggest one I've gotten on this run, and he looks like he's in pretty good shape too. As you can see, I got a uh, late season, I got that way wrapped around the tree there. So that's how I have it secured instead of a steak. The coons, they always like to mess with your trap tags there. See how it's all pulled off my chain? They always do that. So do coyotes. But anyway, I'm gonna get this guy taken care of and then I'll show you. Alright, here's the catches. This is all of them. I haven't scanned any of them. I didn't show you all these catches. But here they are. There's two here. See, there's one back there too. And the two big ones. One was 17 and one was 18 pounds. Those are probably my top two biggest ones. And those are some muskrats I got. Finished up, and my dad's coyotes are in the background drying.